Good day, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today, I'll be drinking out of my Albino Rhino glass, and we'll be drinking and reviewing Sleeman's Fine Porter. Sleeman's Fine Porter is a 5.5% alcohol porter from the Sleeman Brewing and Malting Company. It is made in Ontario. It's 5.5% alcohol. It has a different cap than the other Sleeman products if you are a cap collector. Again, with Sleeman, it doesn't really have a label. It's on the glass itself. It does, however, have a back label, which most Sleeman products don't. They mostly just have the, uh, the neck label. Let's open her up. There's a little bit of smoke coming out of there. There's a bubble that's formed at the top. Nothing really spectacular, though. I would like to point out, right off the bat, that this is a proper looking porter, at least in the bottle. A deep, deep brown, mahogany ish color. Now, I poured perfectly into that glass. Didn't have as much head as I would have liked, but hey, I don't think it would have fit otherwise. It is, oh, I think it's even smaller than a normal bottle, so I'm actually, I'm actually amazed that my cup didn't hold that much. I thought it was a full bottle cup. It technically is. There's a uh, tiny, tiny bit of white head going over the top of this beer. Really, it just changes the color once you get to the top of it. It is a very deep mahogany color, almost not see, almost unable to be seen through. But it is where, where it's thinner. Scent-wise, there's a lot of roasted malt on there. There is a, uh, a good deal of somewhat bitter chocolate on the nose. I do smell a good deal of hops as well. There is a hoppy bitterness to the sweet malt. It actually smells pretty well rounded to tell you the truth. Uh, it says that we're looking at uh, two row Canadian barley, imported hops. Um, talks about the other ingredients, nuts and, and chocolate and such. So. Let's give her a try. You know what? On first sip, I would say I really dislike this beer. But as the taste mingles through my mouth, it, it's better than that very first sip would make me think. As it touches your tongue, You're initially hit with that bitter hops taste, and it's it's not what I would have expected to have hit me first on a on a porter. But right after that bitter hops taste kicks you in the teeth, you're left with the other flavors. I mean, it, it becomes sweet pretty quickly after that. Probably two or three seconds after the after the hops hits you, the malt comes in. The malt fades to a chocolatey, nutty taste, and that stays right through to the end. However, also at the end, the hops reemerges, and you get a bitter, chocolatey taste in your mouth. It's actually not a not a bad mingling of flavors. I. 
was hoping it would be good since it's the color it should be. Scent wise, it's, it's pretty close to what it should be. There's a little more hop on the nose than what you'd expect from a from a porter. Um, it is as creamy as you would figure it would be. It, it fills your mouth. It's a heavier beer. It sits heavier in your stomach. I actually really like it. Sleeman, I, I enjoy this beer. Now, if you're going out to buy it, the fine porter is on a finer price range than most other Sleemans. It's a few bucks more expensive. I think the uh, 12th of this cost me like $25 or somewhere around there, where other ones will cost you 18 or under. It, other than the price point of this beer, I can't really complain. I mean, it, it is something different for me from most porters I drink, as most of them don't hit me with that bitter sensation right away. It is the right color, however. It smells good. It looks good in a glass. It has the right texture, the right feel. My mouth is still somewhat salivating from it. It was... It's a fine beer. I'll, I'll give it that. Other than the price, I, I really have no complaint. If you like your quarters to be more chocolatey, this won't really be the porter for you. It doesn't have as much chocolate taste as, as some of them do. If you want it to be nuttier, this will do it. If you want it to be a little more bitter, more like a, uh, a dark or a stout, more, more leaning towards the coffee taste than the just beefy beer taste, then yeah, this one's more towards that. Truthfully, they probably should have packaged this one as their dark. It's it's a really good beer. I would try it if I were you and if you had the chance. And I'm going to give it a... I want to give it a 7.5 due to taste, but I'm only going to give it a 7 because the price point, I'm not, I'm not a fan of the price point. So, 7 out of 10 for Sleeman's Fine Porter. Thank you for watching. This is another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You guys have yourselves a good night. Good drinking to you. Thank you. Bye.